It's endangering our citizens, attacking our technology, and surrounding our planet. It's space junk. Okay, that's a little dramatic. But space junk really is a thing and it really is a problem. It all started when the first satellite, Sputnik 1, was launched into Earth's orbit in 1957. Ever since then, people have had a grand old time shooting stuff into space to learn more about our universe or to help us communicate and navigate back on Earth. But as a result, there's a lot of man-made stuff orbiting the Earth, including old broken satellites and bits of rockets and spacecraft. And while some of it falls back to Earth and burns up in the atmosphere, some of it doesn't. And that, my friends, is space junk. There are around 20,000 pieces of debris larger than a tennis ball whizzing around Earth right now. And 500,000 pieces of space junk the size of a marble or bigger. But even something tiny is a big problem up here because it's orbiting at speeds of up to 28,000 k's an hour. Just look at these tests on spacecraft. And this is an actual window on the International Space Station. Yikes. We're launching more and more spacecraft every day and we're using space more and more in our everyday lives. And with that become, comes the risk of spacecraft colliding with each other um, and then that leading to us never being able to use the space environment again. And what does that mean for Earthbound beings? There's a disaster scenario where one object could strike another and could cause a cascade effect that could actually destroy all of the things that we use daily and take for granted, like GPS, satellite navigation, uh, our telephones, the internet, and all those things that, that we all know and love. No, not my beloved cat videos. Something clearly has to be done about this. Luckily, scientists around the world agree. They've been working for years to try to find the best way to get rid of space junk. And recently, a project called Remove Debris sent this little junk collector up to the ISS. It tracked down some space junk. Then it did what can only be described as extraterrestrial rubbish fishing. Yes, I made that up. It tried chucking a special net at some space junk. Success! And then it managed to throw a harpoon at it. Whoa, let's watch that again. Then the rubbish was dragged out of orbit and into the atmosphere to burn up. And soon the spacecraft itself will face the same fate to avoid creating more junk. But it's not the last rubbish removing robot we'll see up here. Remove Debris creators are planning to perfect their spacecraft. And there are plenty of other scientists around the world working on ways to keep us all safe from the menace of space junk.